person from Bani Israel was a sinner, was an extremely bad man. This man was so bad that the entire city, the entire society turned against him and banished him. They kicked him out of the city. Now he was alone, with no food, with no provision. If he becomes sick, no one was there to look out for him. And he passes away, he dies. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends wahi to the Prophet of that time and he tells him that one of my awliya, one of my beloved close friends have died. So go and wash him, do ghusl on him, prepare his janazah and go and announce in the village that anyone who prays on him is forgiven. So the people get together and they go to pray on this man. As they reach the man and they're about to pray on him, they realize that's the same man, that evil man that we all turned away and banished him from the city. So the Prophet turns to Allah and he says, Ya Allah, what do you mean by this? What do you mean by this? So Allah Azza wa Jal replies, He was alone, wahid, valeen, humiliated, haqeen, insignificant, saw his insignificance all by himself. He had no friend, no relative. And as he got weaker and weaker, he couldn't turn to anyone else. There was no one else, no one else, no, no other door to knock on, no one else to ask for help, no one else to seek refuge with. And in this moment of utter weakness and desolation, he turned to Allah Azza wa Jal and he said, Oh Allah, if I knew that by punishing me, your greatness will increase, and by forgiving me, your greatness would decrease, I wouldn't ask you to forgive me. But oh Allah, knowing that you, but by forgiving me, your greatness will not decrease. And by punishing me, your greatness will not increase. Then oh Allah, I have no one else to turn to. No other hope but you. No other shelter for me but you. No other direction to talk, turn towards except you. So forgive me. In this condition, this person died. died. He passed away. In this very condition, he passed away. You know what Allah Azza said? Allah Azza wa Jal said to his Prophet that his repentance was so much, his repentance was so great that he was narrow-minded in asking forgiveness for himself only. If he had asked forgiveness for the entire of mankind, I swear by my might and my majesty, I would have forgiven all of mankind. This is Allah Azza wa Jal, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the most gracious, the most merciful.